Hi, this is Rick again, and in this section, we're going to be looking at the call statuses. Um, so we're going to look at this in, <clears throat> in actually two different areas. Uh, let's get started. Uh, we're going to look at the default statuses that the system will generate for every campaign. So for, to look at that, we're going to go into admin, and we're going to go into system statuses. Now, here are all the system statuses, the ones that can be selected by the agent and the ones that the system will select also. As you can see, the answering on uh, machine auto, auto busy, all that has been added. Now, if you notice that there's an A, B, like for busy auto and a B for busy. Now, the busy auto would mean that the automatic dialer is the one that's going to determine and will give it the AB status, and the busy will be if an agent happens to get a call and the system does not detect as busy, and they hear the busy signal, then they would disposition the call as a busy signal. Now, these, are, these statuses will show up on every single campaign that you create, but you can modify per campaign. So, if let's say you saw all these statuses right here, and you say, well, I don't need most of them. You can go ahead and delete them, except for some of them that you are not allowed to delete to minimize the cluster of options at the end of the call. Now, if you want to set specific statuses per campaign, then you would have to go into campaigns. And let's take test out on campaign. And, well, actually, sorry, we hit status and then test out on, and we see here. So let's say that we needed a status for customer contact because we needed some kind of lead gen. So let's say we'll make the code contact or how about CN or contact. Right, well, it doesn't fit with the T, so the description will be contact made. Contact made. Uh, do we want it to be selectable by the agent? Yes, we do. So it does require a human answer? Yes. Is it a categorized as sale or a do not call? No and no. Is it a customer contact? Yes, you can put that. And it's not going to be something that they're not interested or if they're unworkable. And we don't want them to call, have make a callback on this one, so we're going to add. So now we see that we have added a status to this campaign so the outbound campaign is actually going to have a separate and added status to it which will say contact made now there's another very interesting status that's already here also which is let's go back into the system statuses which is the callback feature now what the callback feature does is very simple if they select the callback status at the or the callback disposition at the end of the call then what's going to happen is that they're going to get a calendar that pops up where they're going to be asked to put a date and a time and a small uh, description of what the callback is about now this feature in Visadal is very helpful because if you have to do like B2B projects or anything else where you require constant callbacks or in case you're in a sale you need for a payment reminder or um, if they just need to call back, they don't have to go into an Excel or to an Outlook and program into a calendar. They can actually use the same tool, and the system will notify them. It won't call it back automatically, but it will notify them when they have a callback pending. So in order for this to work, uh, we have actually have to go into the campaign, and we're going to go into the test outbound campaign. We're going to go into the detail view, and we're going to go and assess schedule callbacks. Once you activate this, okay, then that callback disposition will be activated. Okay, now you will be able to tell the difference. Anything with an asterisk at the end of the disposition on the agent screen will mean a callback status. So uh, you can have a, uh, a status that says callback just for a regular contact to continue with the sale or the process. Or you can have a sale made, um, let's say, um, a callback, like a, a sales follow-up. Make sure that they made the payment or whatever reason. Uh, and they'll be designated with a little asterisk at the end that'll show, hey, this actually has a sub-menu that'll work with this. Now, the schedule callback alerts. Now, with this one, you know, you have options. You want it to blink. You just want it to turn red. I like it to blink, defer, and turn red at the same time. So when they're actually... A callback is 
when it's ready to go uh, on the agent screen, they'll actually get a flashing blinking red. <laughs> say big flashing blinking, but they have a blinking red uh, icon that'll show, hey, you need to make the callback. Now, my callback checkbox default, what it is, is basically what we want to do is if you're running the queue where um, anybody can program a callback and then it'll just remind everybody who's logged in at the time that, hey, make the callback. Or if you have this checked, uh, then it'll only remind the particular agent who actually made the, the, the appointment for the callback. Okay? So once you have that set in the, in, in the statuses and you set this here, when you submit, and we have set the system statuses. Now remember that you can put any custom statuses on this. If you need to shrink it down, then you can delete the statuses from the admin section and put a lot less options and then just per campaign just add the ones that will be campaign specific.